Finally, after asking this question over and over and over again, is Kenya ready for a female president? Well, tonight here live at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, we'll get to find out because tonight the winner of the Miss President reality TV show gets unveiled tonight. The voting lines have been closed, so all we have to do now is wait. Wait to see whether the contestant you voted for becomes Miss President. It's been a tough 26 weeks for these amazing women, fraught with emotions from training to tasks to problem-solving activities, presentations, eliminations, and now this. Before we get into the auditorium, let's take a glimpse of how this journey has been. From a pool of over a thousand applicants, 70 women drawn from all over Kenya arrived at the academy. After facing a second set of auditions in front of the judges, the 70 narrowed down to the top 40. The remaining contestants face the ultimate purpose of the academy as a place to train them on topics pertinent to leadership and challenge to test that new knowledge with tasks and assignments. First off, a session about national leadership introduced the ladies to their first training on governance. The assignment was an immediate practical test of what they had just learned. The ladies' next task was to deal with a topic that is fundamental to every leadership post anywhere. Communication. Wherever there are people of different opinions and or limited resources, conflict will ensue. This is why our contestants underwent a training on conflict resolution. The fact of life is conflict happens, so you have to learn how to live with it. Next, the ladies were inspired to bring a different kind of critical thinking into leadership. A diverse nation needs leaders that take issues of cohesion and inclusivity seriously. Cohesion means that we are different, but at the same time, we must find a place to all live together. Effective leaders need to take meaningful positions on various issues facing the country, and this inspired a training on public policy. Many leaders at some point will handle the purse strings of the public. A training on public finance management helped the contestants realize certain key values to hold while doing this. A working country is a prosperous country. The contestants took a different approach to this by learning about labor and employment issues in Kenya. We have such good laws, I can tell you that I'm for sure. But are people aware? At this point, only 15 contestants remain standing at the academy. The trainings became deeper and the tasks more complex. The remaining ladies next took a deeper dive into understanding the running and management of government. So what is government? Good decisions are based on the reality on the ground, which is why the contestants underwent a training on research in policy making. One of the heavier duties of a presidency concerns national security. The contestants' training showed them just how a topic it could be. You as Miss President. To inspire the contestants to think out of the box, they received a training on innovation and emerging technologies, and this training was spiced up by a field trip. What's your home policy on waste management? Ask yourselves that. Yet another training came with the field trip, this time on culture and heritage. But it's now we can talk about food security if we don't understand the best. Next, the contestants got some insights into social welfare and labor. Their assignment was to look for gaps in the labor laws and present on that. Great leaders worry not just about their people, but where and how they live. A training on environmental conservation showed its importance. Food security was the next topic the contestants had to grapple with, and it made a profound difference to how they think. Nations do not exist in a vacuum. 
So leaders have to have a good grasp on international relations, which the contestants got trained on. You are in a very good spot, in a very good moment. Finally, the rubber hit the road. In preparation to put all their learning to practice, the contestants got trained on communication and campaign strategy. This was followed by a totally different field trip. No training this time, but an actual campaign. Next, the contestants fit the hottest of any hot seats by taking part in a presidential debate live on TV. Then came the penultimate field trip. The Miss President contenders got a chance to sit and briefly chat with the President of the Republic of Kenya and go out and get a taste of a state function and duties. Thank you so much. Now, the months of training and exposure have reached their climax. The public have seen them and got to interact with them. They have made the final decision on who their favorite will be. Are you ready for the grand unveil of Kenya's first reality TV leader? It happens right here, this evening. Brace yourself tonight. You meet your Miss President. Wow. Good evening. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Full house. Let me invite the contestants to come in. Your Excellencies, please make your way to the stage. <laughs> Shy. To a piggy my coffee to Fadali. These women are the reason why we are here. Thank you so much, our viewers at home. Uh, as per last week's episode, the numbers have reached 88 million viewers. Applause. Thank you very much. 88 million. Before I observe protocol, let's take a moment of silence. In memory of one of our fallen women heroes, the late governor of Bomet, Dr. Joyce Laboso, and also to a man who championed women and youth issues in his constituency, the late Honorable Ken Okoth, the MP for Kibra. A moment of silence, please. Thank you very much. Our chief guest, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of Kenya, the Honorable Justice Joki Dongo, Your Excellency, the Canadian High Commissioner to Kenya, Ms. Uh, Ms. Lisa Stalobawa, the Director, Regional Director, he was Eastern Africa, Mendy Jonjo, the Regional Head of Foreign Policy Instruments, European Union Delegation Office in Nairobi, Josephine uh, Kalinokas, our judges and trainers of the Ms. President Academy, present our final contestants, of Ms. President, supporters of, and families of the contestants present, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. You may take a seat. You may sit, Your Excellencies. So, of course, the question has been, how did this concept um, get mooted? Who came up with it? Allow me now to invite the executive producer uh, of the show and the producer of the show, Mr. Buruge Kunda and Isabel Munua, to come and share this story with us. Thank you, Jimmy. Your Excellencies, this is your day. And not just yours, but also for all women across the country who heeded our call for applications to participate in this one-of-a-kind television show. We and Media Focus are very proud of you. And regardless of the end result, and I've said this everybody, you are all winners. And indeed, all the women of Kenya are winners in this show. During your time in the academy, you were exposed to various issues that the highest office in the land must address. 
Through your trainings, our viewers also benefited from the knowledge of renowned trainers and practitioners in the various fields, and many of them are here with us today, and we thank you for your commitment in this endeavor. You had an opportunity to visit various places and institutions for a first-hand experience on what our country has to offer, and through their visits, you got exposed to our country's great potential and leadership challenge. You and our viewers learned the presidency Captain is not a walk in the park, but requires creativity and dedication. We now know the women of Kenya are ready to take any leadership challenge. Just last week, um, you confidently spoke to the public the following the very kind invitation by His Excellency the President, Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta, to share a podium with him, and we thank him for the opportunity. In your journey, you have been challenged by a team of dedicated judges, you and the viewers have benefited from their insights and nuggets of knowledge, which we hope has equipped you to become better leaders. And indeed, some of the judges are here with us and we thank you for what you did. Because of you, our community engagement efforts, which we shall be embarking on next, will be a lot easier. And as we've said before, we hope to do this in some three counties at the coast, Kilifi, Mombasa, and Kwale, using what we have developed through this program. We appreciate our partners, KTN, Dreamcatcher Productions, and Muhuri for the support in making this endeavor a success. Our idea of empowering women found expression following financial assistance from the European Union, the Government of Canada, and HIVOS, represented here in the case of the European Union by the head of delegation, in the case of Canada by the High Commissioner, and we thank you, and in the case of HIVOS by the Regional Director, and we thank you. We thank you most sincerely for that support and hope we can do more together for the women of Kenya in particular and the country at large. We shall be giving you a chance, hopefully shortly, to share some remarks with the good excellencies. I wish to welcome the producer of the show to just make a few remarks on what it has been to produce this program. And I now call Isabel for a few, a few remarks. <laughs> So, the use of media has been very effective in changing attitudes, beliefs, and perceptions. And we needed to demonstrate that Kenya has very talented and very capable female leaders. And uh, what better way than to create a show uh, that basically, that was to create a show to show, the, to demonstrate that these leaders actually, uh, actually exist. And we produced a show that was created for and executed by Kenyans. Kenya's female population can be put to better use, specifically in leadership, as this leads to increased economic growth, poverty reduction, and enhanced societal well-being. So on behalf of Dreamcatcher Productions, I would like to thank Burugu Gikunda, the executive producer, and Media Focus on Africa, and her other partners. We are very honored to have walked, walked this journey with you and worked alongside you as your production partner. I'd like to thank my crew for their dedication and for working tirelessly behind the scenes to make this the resounding success it is. And to all the contestants, thank you for believing in this initiative and for, and for your participation. And finally, to His Excellency, Mr. President Uhuru Kenyatta, we thank you for endorsing this show and for giving us the time out of your very busy schedule to meet with the top five contestants and for providing insights into our country's leadership. Thank you. Thank you very much, Isabel. Um, just to recognize the presence of the Secretary General for ODM, Mr. Uh, where are you, sir? Gadi <laughs> Busana, thank you for your support. This would not have been possible, of course, without the help and the support of the standard group, let me invite the CEO to come on stage and say a few words. Is he here? Yes. Oh, he's not with us. Okay. Um, think caught, caught, caught in traffic. We'll take a short commercial break when we come back. More about this journey and, of course, the highlight of this competition. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Miss President. Wow. 
Welcome back. Let me invite uh, the representative from Hivos to come and say a few words. Ms. Jonjo, let's give a round of applause, please. Um, good evening, everyone. James Brown said it's a man's world, but I think today in one shining, glorious, beautiful night, your excellences, it is perhaps a woman's world tonight. My name is Mendy and I'm from Hivos and I'm very happy to be here uh, because of the work that the ladies here have done in terms of showing that when it comes to workplaces, there is space for women to do it and to do it in an informed, thoughtful, and very purposeful driven way. And those are the values that Hivo stands for. We believe in spaces where people can work in safe and decent ways. We believe in safe and decent workspaces. And today, I'm extremely happy to be able to see even the space of political leadership is something that we can have um, good and thoughtful conversations on. So um, as HIVOs, um, we do know there are no quick fixes into this issue of female leadership. However, having seen the journey that the, peop the contestants have taken from a field of about 70 to the final five, I think we can now see um, what it is when you invest in women, when you invest in their journey, and when you now have a space where women are leading from a space of, of thoughtfulness and precision, and I believe that this is exactly what we've been looking for. Um, as HIVOs, um, we're extremely happy to have partnered with Media Focus for Africa. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And I'm looking forward to seeing who will be crowned um, the final winner. And I'd like to echo regardless of who the winner is, congratulations to all the contestants. And uh, looking forward to seeing the unveiling with all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Wendy. Thank you very much. Remember, this is the grand finale tonight to get to know who the winner of this amazing journey that is Miss President reality TV show will be tonight. Like I said, the highlight of this competition was a visit to State House, where the contestant, because contestants had a one-on-one -on -one chat with His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya. From over a thousand to now five, these contestants have been on the screen to prove to Kenyans that they have what it takes to be called Miss President. Over the last couple of months, they went through a series of training and tasks and field trips. Finally, they had the trip to crown it all, experiencing what it would be like to come face to face with His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya. What would it be like? to get a taste of presidential duties. These are the five remaining contestants of a homegrown production called Miss President. There's no much policies that support farming in agriculture, especially in asal areas. What is the plan? Under our 2010 constitution, agriculture is a devolved function. We have different programs and, that we are working on. For example, yeah, we are trying to revamp uh, NCPB. The National Employment Authority is being uh, launched um, in May, and one of the focus areas is youth unemployment. How will your government ensure that uh, this, this works? Because it's a policy issue, it's an implementation issue. We need to really re-equip yeah, our, our young people to take advantage yeah, of the fact that uh, they themselves should look to be employers of their own fellow young people. What would be some of the opportunities for engagement that you would have with the office of Miss President? If we positively engage our women by creating opportunities and giving them chances, right? what we're actually doing is not actually just empowering a woman. You are actually empowering the nation. The current stalemate between the, uh, the Council of Governors and the National Assembly, what would you advise these two groups? We as a national government, from the resources that we have, yeah, are basically just barely able to cover our recurrent expenditure. And it is not prudent to borrow, but most importantly, we have to acknowledge that we must live within our means. The Young African Leadership Initiative based at KU, and uh, as alumni of that initiative, we are willing to work with the government 
uh, in uh, building up on the Biashara Fund. So Your Excellency, how can we partner? We are more than happy to collaborate with all partners yeah, who have positive ideas that can be beneficial yeah, to our country, to our people. Then came the ultimate field trip. Nilikutana na warembo wengine. Nasikia walikuwa meshindana, Kenya mzima, ni murembo gani atakuwa rais wa kwanza. Alafu nikawambia kwa sababu, unataka kuwa maraisi wa inchi. Njooni muone kazi kidogo kidogo ile raisi ya nafanya. So ningependa wakuje hapa muwaone. Your Excellency, as your honored guest. And there you have it. The contestants have now truly seen it all, having not just received insights, but actually shared a platform with the President of the Republic of Kenya. Now, this evening, we'll know who among the five Warembos you decided has the most brilliant mind, wit, and capacity to best fit the shoes of the presidency as Miss President. Wow. And by the way, that trip came because the president was so impressed by their questions. And he said, you know what? To end him, one of the So one applause for these amazing women. Well done. As you've been watching the show, um, one of the key components of it, of course, is the academy. And in the academy, they were what we were calling judges. And they were tough. Here to speak on their behalf is the lead judge, Dr. Zipi Okoth. Thank you everyone, to the organizers, the sponsors, the participants, the contestants, and the audience who voted and watched the show. We want to say thank you. You made this dream come true. Uh, the Miss President show gave us a great platform to see Kenyan women and the women in general share their ideas, share in their perspectives, and share in their capacity to be great leaders. And we saw that, and the audience learned. And as one of the judges, we also learned a lot. If I leave the top five aside, we had people who gave us hope through the academy. We had Chebi Twi, who was a mother. Caroline Ojenge Ogot, who was also a mother. We had Bright Star Kasioka, who was the youngest. And we also had uh, Daisy, who also was very young, and they gave us hope. We also had Benedict Muyomi, who's also given us a lot of hope in this show. These are people of different ages, if you look at it from 60s to 20s, showing us that we can. I'd like to give you a final parting shot from Dolly Parton, our country singer of all time. She said, if your actions create a legacy that inspires others to dream more, to do more, to learn more, and to become more, then you are a great leader. And that is what the Miss President Reality TV Show has done for us all. Thank you. A lady of few words, it's Dr. Zippy of course. In the academy, she had lots to say. We also had trainers who took them through the different um, uh, phases or aspects of leadership to speak on their behalf. It's Zuki Waita. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Your Excellencies. So proud of you today. So proud of you. Uh, I want to give a vote of thanks on behalf of all the trainers uh, who participated uh, in this show. From the three times we are together uh, in class, I've continued to follow your personal journeys, uh, especially your personal leadership journeys through the social media and, of course, through KTN Home. And I'm proud to say that all the mis President Trainers did a stellar job in molding the finalists into world-class presidential material. Proud of you, and well done. <laughs> to the trainers, I say a very big thank you. And this is to the contestants. You have all played a crucial role in inspiring women from corners, all, all corners of Kenya, more importantly, you have increased their chances in taking up public leadership roles. I salute you all for this. <laughs> Seeing you last week in Riru uh, with the president, 
for me, uh, was a very special moment, full of splendor and confidence, was unspeakable. Uh, you guys are ready for the next general election, and I hope each one of you will take a stab at it come 2022. Thank you, and God bless Kenya. Huge support of the Academy. Thank you very much, Mr. Waita. Um, another person who's been such a huge supporter, in fact, spent time with the contestants in the Academy is Her Excellency, the Canadian High Commissioner, Madam Lisa Stadenbauer. Good evening. It's an honor and a pleasure to be back in this room again with these wonderful contestants. Um, it's uh, our heartfelt congratulations to all of you. When the Canadian High Commission was approached some time ago to support this, we didn't hesitate. We have a feminist international assistance policy, we have a feminist foreign policy, and we have a proudly feminist prime minister. And so any chance to support women in leadership roles, we were keen to, to uh, step up and do our part to support your work. My heartfelt congratulations to the 1,000 women who put their names forward because that is the first step, is to lean in and to step up. And so I'm very proud of those 1,000 women who took that first step forward to join here. My congratulations to the 70 who are part of this program and my heartfelt congratulations to the five of you who remain here. We're so very proud of you and we can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Now, I know you want to hear them for the last time. Yeah? Let me ask them to come one by one. I'll start with uh, Her Excellency from Garissa County. I want to put... Oh, you got to say... Hello. Good evening. Salaamu Alaikum. I'm, I'm very excited to actually see all the faces that have come. And this is what makes Kenya a big country that's full of love, support, and nothing but joy. And I'm very excited to be part of the finalists. I know the journeys we've been through the whole of us, from the 1,000 to the 71. And this, this is very exciting because I always say that Kenya is ready for a female president. And it's time we took the bull by the horns, isn't it? Inshallah. Come 2022, we need to see at least if not all of us, one of us going for that seat, inshallah. And to, I, 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 don't, I don't even have much to say because this is, this is very exciting for all of us. So thank you so much and we hope to see the best of the evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, Excellency. From Homer Bay County. Makofi. Good evening. In all humility, allow me to first of all thank the 70 women who enabled us to be the five that we are. And I really I am touched by all of you being here. In my life, I have come across men, women, young people, people living with disability and children, and I carry in me their hopes, aspirations, and dreams. And Miss President, organizers allowed me and gave me a platform to share those stories, to share those aspirations. And I stand here very confident and very happy that you had those stories, that you had what they want you to hear and they want action be taken. Kenya, it is time that we take up that leadership as women, but we need to lead despite being women. I believe that we are all leaders in our own right. I thank all of you for being supportive. I thank all of you for watching. And the winner of today's title will just hold the title. We all have journeyed and we are all winners. I thank you, Kenyans. I love you. Sorry for Nere Nerea from Nairobi County.
Thank you all for coming. And for those who are watching from across your screens, across the country, I want to say thank you and thank you because this journey has not been a journey just for the 70 who made it into the academy. Neither is it about the top five, but it is about that young girl who needs to look at all of us as women leaders and feel inspired and feel that her dreams really matter so that she can say that if we can do it, then she too can do it. I want to thank all Kenyans profusely for turning out in large numbers to join in the conversation that says, is Kenya really ready for a female president? And I want to believe that my guess is as good as yours, that indeed time has come for that to happen. Allow me to thank a few people, right from the, His Excellency the President, for allowing us his space, and also my governor, Michael Buvi Sonko for coming out in support of women and leadership, our women rep, our, my, my, my own leadership at Kanu Women Congress, and all the other leaders who have come out to support all of us uh, today. I want to thank my campaign team, all the comrades, all the people who have prayed for me, but above all, I am saying thank you to God. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you, Betty. Women power. power! Women power. power! Thank you very much to everyone who is here. Heshima zangu kwenu nyinyi wote, viongozi ambao mko hapa, wana Kenya wenzetu ambao mko hapa, wanaotizama kwenye runinga. First of all, I just want to say thank you to the 70 women who are here. The women who stood and said that they want to be president, to my very worthy opponents, I say thank you. It has been a very, very good competition. And I'd also like to say thank you to the sponsors of this program. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been here. To my family, my parents, my grandparents, my son Tyrone for believing in me and for everyone else, I just want to say thank you. And God bless you, and to whoever will become the winner, we can't wait. We will all support whoever it is. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you. From Nyeri County. May it never be said, today, on this day, that young people from across the county, every man and woman in this hall and across the country, that you can never make it. I want all of us to believe in the power of our dreams, and I want all of us to chase our dreams with everything that we have, with every might in our body, fight for it. Chase your dream until you win. Atakama hakuna pesa. Ata kama hauna jina kubwa, go for it. This is, your, this is our country. This is our continent. We are the leaders of today. I am grateful for my county leadership, for, the, for everyone, but most importantly, for every young man who did not sleep campaigning for me. For everyone who believed, I am indebted to you. I owe you excellence. I owe you hard work and I owe you determination. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Let's hear it for the five contestants. We'll take a short break when we come back. Who will become Miss President? Stay with us. You are watching Miss President. Welcome back. We're getting closer to that moment where we'll find out who amongst the five will be crowned Miss President tonight. Let me recognize the presence of uh, Deputy uh, Governor Nyeri County. It's good to have you, sir. Asante sana. Good to have you, ma'am. Karibu sana. <laughs> uh, members of Parliament, uh, President MCAs, Asante sana kwa kuwapa. 
Makofi kwenye tafadhali asante sana. Um, uh, very quickly, let me invite the um, CEO of the Sana Group, Mr. Orlando, to come and just say a few words. Tumpigia Makofi tafadhali, huge supporter for us. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today it's not actually the day for people like me, as much as we are the ones who are providing the platform and have been providing the platform. But I would like to start by thanking all the invited guests, all the dignitaries in the room. A special thank you to the sponsors who made this a reality, all the partners who have worked so hard during this long journey, the participants, <coughs> and most importantly, the contestants. Uh, for anyone who has ever been in a competition which involves being knocked out, you know how that feels. So I think my special mention goes to all the contestants who have had to endure the filtration process up to this day. Uh, to the five ladies who have made it to the final today, what I would like to say is that you carry the aspirations of the 1,000 ladies that registered and hope to get here today. They might not have managed to be here, but you represent what each and every lady who took part in this competition aspires to be. Um, as the standard group PLC, and more specifically as KTN Home, we are glad to have been the platform that carried this message to all Kenyans. As a media group, we are committed to ensuring that we engage in conversations that have impact, that can transform this country and that can change the future of this country. Remember, today we are talking about Ms. President. It could be on TV, but what about if in a few years it will actually be a live debate, a live debate involving true contestants vying for the seat in State House? That's where I think such initiatives like Ms. President need to take us to. And I believe that if we become a community that empowers all, then we shall not conclude this on TV, but it shall become a reality. Remember, in the words of Sheryl Sandberg, in future there will be no female leaders. There will just be leaders. And as they always say, if you want a job done well, whom do you give it to? You give it to a woman. So as Katie and Home, we are glad to be partners in this, and I wish all the contestants all the best, and I believe you are all winners. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let me very quick, quickly recognize the presence of women leaders here um, from Ijana constituency, Member of Parliament, Sophia Abdi. It's good to have you, Asante. <laughs> Nominated MP, uh, Nasra Sal Salha. Good to have you. Priscilla Nyokabi, it's good to see you here, ma'am. <laughs> Honorable Fatuma Gedi, women rep from Ojir. <laughs> Tia Galgalo, good to see you, Tia. <laughs> Honorable Janet Ongera, it's good to have you. And of course... Honorable Bob Njage, Asante Sana. Let me invite uh, the representative from EU to come and say a few words. Nah. So, what a pleasure to be here. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Josephine Kalanorkas. I'm really, really proud to be here to represent the European Union. Over, just over a year and a half ago, a little bit more, we were so excited to see this proposal turn up on our desks. You can imagine, for a group of bureaucrats like us, we were like, oh, how exciting, television, this is a great thing. We really could see that there was a huge amount of promise in this proposal. The EU, as I'm sure you would be aware, is a champion of women's empowerment. We have a president-designate waiting in the wings to take over. And we see Miss President as a creative and exciting way to give women a voice, a showcase for the women of talent in Kenya. And we really hope that the women here today are really going to give inspiration to young women across the land. Lots of people have already said we hope very much to see many more candidates coming up in the 2022 elections. And we hope that everybody, men and women across the country, can see that women and women politicians can really represent your interest in Kenya. So thank you very much, and thanks for all your hard work. Thank you very much, ma'am. We're getting close. Allow me now to invite our chief guest, the Honorable Justice Joki Dongo, <laughs> to come and say a few words before unveiling the winner. Tumpige Makofi Tafadali. Your Excellencies, 
and the contestants who are here today, and the 70 other women who also participated in the competition. I just want to say that, you know, I was thinking when I was sitting there watching that 20 years ago, when I was a younger woman, these opportunities were not there for us. And the political space was so closed. Public office was not encouraged. But now I look here and I am convinced that the time is right now for us to take our rightful place in the corridors of power. I want to assure you that women must be in public office as of right. It is our right because we are 50% of the population, because we vote for public, for political leadership, because we pay taxes and we need to know where our money is going and who's managing the money for us, and because we are equal to men, but we are different. And therefore, we need to be where public policy is being made. I also think, and I'm so encouraged, and I want to thank the sponsors for this academy, because I wish I had the same training. It's wonderful to see how, as we move to have more women in public office, we know that we have quality leadership, as I, I can see from your training that that's what you have. One of the last things I'd like to say to the contestants, whoever will win, whoever will be following to win, because I know you will all go into public office after this, is to remember, you must leave legacy. Legacy is so important. Sometimes when you get into the corridors of power, you forget about service. Do not forget about service. Leave a legacy for other women, and please mentor other women. I know now that we are ready for a woman president. I feel it in my bones. I'm sure all of you can feel it too. Our time is now. I'll ask our chief guest to remain on stage because it's about that time now. The big moment that we've been waiting for. 26 weeks of tough tears, pressure. Who will it be? Is it Umuliher from Garissa? Is it Nerea from Homa Bay? Is it Betty from Nairobi? Is it Irene from Nyamira County? Or is it Wadokrokiai from Nyeri? Let me invite Vivo Africa to come and give us the statistics of how this was done, and then thereafter hand over the coveted envelope to our chief guest. Um, let me hand you your mic. Good evening. I am uh, Aurelia Migwe from Viva Africa Consulting, LLP. Yeah. We were the validators of this uh, competition. And uh, in our exercise, when we're validating the votes, um, I feel it's good that uh, I read the following stati stat statistics, apologies. Um, for your information, the voting started on the 22nd of July, midday, and it ended on the 31st of July at 5 p.m. Out of uh, the total votes that were cast, which were 199, 273, the valid votes were 147,099. Um, the margin between the highest and the lowest is 14.45%. And lastly, the margin between the winner and the first runners-up is 3.42%. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Now, let me ask our chief guest to come up front. Let me also ask the Canadian High Commission to come on stage. Um, the representative from Hivos as well from uh, the European Union as well to come on stage. It's a big moment now. It's a big moment. As they're making their way on stage because of time, I'm going to ask Vivo, Viva. Viva, sorry, Viva to hand over the envelope to our chief guest. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask the contestants to be upstanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you start with the runner up? I think we just go straight to the winner. Can do it because we're running out of time. Okay. Are you ready to know who Miss President is? Well, the 
public has voted, and the contestant with the highest number of votes is Nerea. <laughs> It has gone to Hover Bay County! Nera! I'm on the okay! Ladies and gentlemen, from Hover Bay County, the woman who went through this competition while being pregnant and eventually gave birth while still in the competition from Homer Bay County Larea Amoni Larea Oh, Nere, they haven't, they haven't finished giving you. Before you speak. Let me ask you to come. Yeah, just, Justice Dongo, Justice Dongo, just come for the lights. Yes, yes. Right here, right here. Where the lights are. Come here, Nere. She's asking for her baby. Where is her baby? Say something, Nerea. Where is her baby? Where is her baby? She wants her baby. Say something, Nerea. To the chief guest, Justice Njokindumu, to the ambassador of the Canadian High Commission, all dignitaries, members of parliament, my colleague MCAs, judges, all my trainers, I dedicate this to Kenyan voices, every one of you who has watched me through the show. I am proud to stand here as a leader. And I commit, I commit that I will live up to the covenant that I put out today morning. I commit to be that leader whose voice will count. I commit to you, Kenyans, that I'm going to be that leader that you want to see. I thank you very much, and I thank God. I have lost a lot of sleep. I'm going to dedicate this also to my son. I think the world can see that women... We can lead, we can be mothers. I thank you all. To my family and my husband is here. I love you. You have gone through everything a man shouldn't go through. And I'm going to take the next one week to be there. I don't know where he is, he likes hiding. <laughs> he likes hiding. Baby, where are you? Thank you, Kenyans. Let me take one week off from all phones, but I'm here for you. I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, from a program made here in Kenya, only first time ever locally and internationally, the first Miss President from Homer Bay County, Nerea Abonde. It's been an amazing journey. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Good night.
One, two. All right. So, shall we have... Con no, she's coming down. Let's not crowd the stage. She's coming. Let's just take some few photos. The 70 contestants kindly come on stage. The rest of you just hold on. The other contestants? Let's sit. Let's all sit down first. We want to give the runners up and the others uh, the awards. Tapadali. Let's clear the stage. We want to award the runners up. Jimmy. Kindly let's leave the stage. Kindly Asante. Thank you. Exit the stage kindly. Exit the stage. Exit the stage. Let's have the contestants only. Aya, thank you so much. Let's finish this. Kindly exit the stage. Thank you so much for those who are complying. Aya, Asante sana.